the ebb and flow of business confidence remains a major ingredient in M&A activity levels. Market confidence has remained resilient in Ireland in recent years, but we need to be cautious about not talking ourselves into a slowdown. The positive news is that, from what we can see, a lot of companies are becoming more immune over time to global uncertainty and volatility. Thankfully, good businesses will always be on the lookout for new opportunities. Companies still recognise that top-line growth is difficult to achieve organically, and they will likely be on the lookout for new targets. And there are still a number of key growth drivers for both global and Irish M&A activity across all sectors. Firstly, companies will continue to look to use excess capital and liquidity to grow via acquisition. While the Irish economy remains buoyant, many other economies are not performing as well. M&A remains a tried and tested route for expansion in a lower growth environment, so we can expect to see more international buyers focused on Irish businesses. Secondly, a remarkable number of Irish companies are still family-owned businesses. Some estimates indicate around as much as 75% are in fact family-owned. Succession is therefore a growing factor and driver for M&A activity in many countries, especially in the likes of Ireland, the UK and the US. An increasing number of baby boomers are looking for successors and expect to exit over the coming years. Thirdly, M&A activity should be healthy across most sectors due to the increased cyclical move towards consolidation. While innovation heavy sectors such as tech and healthcare should see heightened activity due to the impact of market disruption, we are seeing many clients looking to consolidate their supply chain as a means of future-proofing their business.